Hello guys and welcome back to another Technology Guru video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how you can turn your audio podcast into video. So it's always great to repurpose your content and this tool that I'm gonna show you today is uh, very uh, aptly named repurpose.io. So if you go over to the URL that I'm at right now, repurpose.io you're going to be able to walk through kind of what i'm doing now so basically what we're able to do with this tool is take our audio feeds coming from say libsyn or from itunes or however you have your rss feed for your audio podcast we're going to be able to feed that into uh, having an output to say youtube to you know upload our videos there or to our facebook account or facebook page to upload facebook videos as well so the way this works is you go and navigate over to repurpose.io I actually have a link in the description of this video where you can get 25% off the price of this tool. It is so worth it, guys. I promise you, if you're a podcaster, it's always great to repurpose your content. So let's go ahead and dive into it. So as you see here, these are what they call workflows. So a workflow is something that takes an audio input and transitions it or basically transfers it to a video output. So as you can see here, my input is going to be my YouTube Creators Hub podcast feed, which is the audio feed and it's going to output to YouTube. Now, if we go to my YouTube channel now, you can see this is what a audio podcast looks like in video form. Now, the beauty of this is, is that you can set it up to automate to where every single week it uploads your latest audio podcast to your video channel, to your YouTube channel or your Facebook feed automatically, and you don't have to do anything. It looks great. It's got your podcast artwork. You can put pictures of yourself. It has the title of the show. Um, and then whenever it plays, I'm going to go ahead and mute it now whenever it plays back it shows a little waveform here moving so it's very visually appealing as well uh, as you can see here the thumbnail is very simple as well so if we navigate back over to repurpose.io we can see now and understand what a workflow is now you name these workflows now I have mine set to manual because I have certain ones I want to upload certain times and if you have a podcast that has like over a hundred episodes you can always go back and every single week have a new piece of content for your YouTube channel as an old episode or an old episode of your podcast. Now, the way this works is you've got to start in the connections tab. So under connections here, you can see I have three different connections. So I have my audio podcast, which is the input. I have my YouTube channel, which is an output. And then I have my Facebook feed or Facebook page, which is an output. So if I want to add a new connection, what I would do is I would go to add connection, audio input. So I would name this connection. So let's say I want to connect my uh, podcast. So go ahead and just say podcast feed would be here. Okay. And then you'll just basically paste in your podcast feed URL. If you use Libsyn, which I recommend, you will have a very easy to uh, you know navigate to URL. And so just copy your podcast feed RSS URL, paste that here, and then go ahead and click connect. Once you've done that, you'll see it here under your connection type. Now, when you're ready to add your YouTube channel, hit the drop down menu, go down here to YouTube or Facebook, whichever one you're wanting to do, click add connection. Then it's basically going to say name the connection. So go ahead and name it, you know, YouTube channel, whatever you want to name it. And then basically you'll hit connect. Now, your YouTube channel or account must be verified before you can upload videos longer than 15 minutes. Now, again, your your account or YouTube channel needs to be verified if you have a longer podcast. There's tutorials out there on how to do that. You go ahead and click connect. Once you do that, it will navigate you over to log into your YouTube channel. I'm not going to do that now because you guys should already know how to do that. Now, once everything is connected under your connections here, go and navigate over to workflow. This is where the magic starts to happen. Then once you're here, go ahead and click the create new repurpose workflow. Once you do that, you're going to go through a four step process here. We're going to name this workflow. So go ahead and name it workflow one. Okay. Just for the purposes of this video, then click the blue next button here. This is where your connections come to play. You're going to choose an input input for me is going to be my audio podcast feed an output. Okay. So input type is going to be that the input connection is going to be my podcast feed, which we set up previously. Click the next button again. Now we're going to choose an action. We want to convert audio to video. You can also upload audio if that's what you want to do. But for the purposes of this video, we're converting audio to video. 
Go ahead and click next. Then you're going to choose your output connection. We're going to go ahead and make it YouTube. And then the beauty of it is you can choose an output playlist or folder. So not only can you upload to your YouTube channel, but you can also choose a playlist for me. It's my YouTube creator sub podcast playlist. And then you can even create a new playlist from within repurpose.io. Once you're ready to go, there's a big green button here that says create repurpose workflow. Boom. Once you do that, you're set up. And once you go back to your workflows and you've set it up and you've done everything correctly, you'll be able to choose a publish mode, whether you want it to be manual or you want it to be automatic. I like to have more control over my feed. So I, I, you know, leave it at manual, but basically you can go in and click the view episodes button in this blue button here, and it will show you a list of all of your audio episodes to the most recent one. Like, you know, this was done a couple of days ago and it shows you here if you have published it. Okay, if you want to republish, you can do that as well. It'll show you the green button here that says done if you do that. Uh, also, the ones here, you can notice the ones that do not have a green done button by them. Basically, these have not been published yet. So if I want to, I click publish, it'll show up as queued. And then within maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes, however long it normally takes, it will then be published to your video output, just like you've set it up in your workflow. Now, if we go back over to workflows and we take a look at settings here, we go under the settings tab, you can choose here how your thumbnail is going to look. Now I've uploaded a personal branding thumbnail that I created myself within Photoshop, uh, but basically you can remove or preview these. So if we go here and preview specific thumbnails, so if we click here and preview this, it's going to show you exactly what it's going to look like once you get it within the YouTube template there. But again, you can choose that however you want to do it there. Uh, you can, you know, add keywords, change the privacy to public or unlisted like you would on YouTube. Uh, you can have it linked to your episode link. I'm going to change mine in the future to do a Google short URL to make it a little more, I guess you would say prettier for the viewer or the audience that I'm choosing. And then here under choose a template, you can either choose one of these, as I mentioned before, or you can upload a custom template, which is what I did here. Again, I would keep your podcast branding as close as it is on your audio side on the video side as well. So that's how you use repurpose.io to again, go ahead and create an audio feed and transition it into or upload it to a video feed where, it, where you know, it might be Facebook or YouTube or another video feed like that. Now, again, the purpose of this is to easily repurpose content. And as an entrepreneur, as a content producer, it's always great to utilize specific content on other avenues or other outputs, or you know, like we're calling them here within the repurpose.io platform. So if you have any questions, put those in the comment section below. Speaking of podcasts, you can listen to my YouTube creators hub podcast.com if you want to check that out. And guys, until next time, talk to you later.